In this video, what we're going to do is talk about one of YouTube's most powerful features, which is custom audiences. So here I am in the audiences section. You can see on the left navigation, I'm going to hit add audience segment. Now there's another way you can do this by going to the audience manager, but for consistency, I'm just going to show how you do it here. So you would scroll down under the browse section to your custom audience segments. Let's click that. And then we're going to click add custom segment. So here we can start with people with any of these interests or purchase intentions. So we could put in anything here. We could say something like running. We could see people that are interested or have purchasing intentions for the best running shoes for long runs, for ASICs marathon running shoes, for run, walk, half marathon training. So let's say best running shoes. Uh, this would be an example of a custom audience. We could also do something like web design. Perhaps we're selling web design services. Web design services for small businesses. And then what happens is we'll get an estimate on the right here in terms of uh, who we're able to reach. So we can see 62% male, 25% uh, of them are going to be 18 to 24, parental status, most are not. Uh, parents, and we see the weekly impressions. So it's not really giving us a true reach, but it's telling us the, the potential in terms of impressions, 10 billion to 1 trillion impressions. Now, uh, you can see that we can also expand this audience by saying people who browse uh, types of websites. So we can put in uh, specific types of websites of people that we want to target. So maybe they go to uh, nike.com. And what YouTube is going to do is target people that are similar to those that would visit Nike.com. Could also put in people that maybe go to Adidas. Oh, well, let's get the exact URL for Adidas. This is one of my favorite features in YouTube is the fact that you can target people that are similar to those that visit specific URLs. So this is, this is extremely effective, uh, especially if you're targeting perhaps people that use certain software and they go to that software's website. So for example, you sell a QuickBooks integration. Well, you probably want to target people that visit quickbooks.com. If you sell in a specific marketplace, well, you're going to want to target people that shop on that marketplace. You can put the marketplace URL, whether it's Lazada or Amazon or, or Udemy, whatever, you can put it on here. You can also target people that use specific types of apps. So for example, uh, the Udemy app, or maybe it's Fruit Ninja app, or uh, a certain app that people use for business purposes that you happen to integrate with because you sell an app extension. Well, you could put that in here, and I, I, I do that quite often. So these very powerful features are really just the first section of custom audiences, which is people with any of these interests or purchase intentions. The second is people who search for any of these terms on Google. And this is extremely powerful. So earlier, what we did was we essentially advertised for certain keywords. And basically, that's the supply side. That's the placements of the ads. Here, we're able to target the people that had searched for specific keywords on Google and advertise to them, even if they're not actively searching for those keywords on YouTube right now. So this is where we're taking a really customer oriented, customer targeting approach, rather than what you usually do when you do Google ads, which is target based on behavior, what they're searching for. Here, we're able to target the people that had previously searched and recently searched uh, for certain keywords. So here, for example, I can target people that had searched for marketing book, best marketing books for beginner, uh, best digital marketing books, marketing books, PDF. So you can see here just how much more powerful YouTube is for advertising than other social media channels. We're able to advertise a lot more based on intent, based on what people are searching for. And from that perspective, the targeting is going to be much more refined uh, by targeting people, not just based on who they are, but also uh, what they've been doing, what they've been searching for, what they're looking for, and where they're looking for it in terms of specific videos and channels.